All right, guys, so on today's show, we have with us Matt Freeze. We're going to dive into all kinds of topics, taking a deeper dive into Myrtle Beach short term vacation rental oceanfront condo ownership right here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. You don't want to miss it. Right. Any other kind of crazy stories? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Let's see. I, um, you, you know, I, uh, <laughs> off the top of my head no but oh there was uh so one of the units the uh, the guests uh the guests checked out the clearance went in and um there was there was blood everywhere the 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 mattress was saturated with blood the blood splatter on the ceiling blood splatter on the wall um we called the police uh the uh police went out uh they roped off the place they, they were treating it as a homicide even though there wasn't a body there but it was a lot of blood and uh so they tracked down the uh guests who stayed in there and apparently it was something that happened outside the condo i i guess he got stabbed at the bar or something Get out. And, and they slept in the bed but somehow i don't know how it ended up everywhere but he was okay he was the guy okay. was okay he though was okay. dude that's a little bit freaky yeah right? so the guests had to pay for all the all yeah, the, no doubt. Uh, everything, but so a hand, handful <laughs> of stories. Yeah, handful of stories. Vandalism isn't something to really be concerned about. Stuff is going to happen from time to time. Somebody might slip and fall and go through a wall. Um, at the same token, you just have the people pay for it. Right. Yeah, super easy. All right, management and operations. So, so again, property management company versus do it yourself. For you, it makes a lot more sense to just do it yourself. Right. Even though you are out of state. Yeah. So how many times a year would you think that you come to take care of your units? You know, it, it really, I come down because I want to. Like, you know, uh, here recently I've been very busy, so I haven't been down in six months. Um, you know, I, I didn't have to come down. I, I came down just because the family's coming down later this week. So I, was, I figured I'd come down early, get some work done in the condo. Yeah. But in reality, you know, I, don't, I think I could manage it without having to come down. Wow. And, you know, I have the connections, uh, you know, if if I need renovations done, that for people come. You know, it's if not, I'm resortful, right? Yeah, there's, yeah. there's social media networking. Uh, you know, social media. You can reach out and find people that can do anything for you down here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, all right. So, how do you handle emergencies, and what kind of emergencies have you had in the past? So, I, I, originally, I was available 24/7. Um, I'm kind of at a point where. In my listing, I, I go to bed at midnight. I wake up at 6 a.m. If you have a problem within that window, figure it out. Yeah. Um, I would rather uh, not lose sleep over it. Um, it. I would rather, if they're having a problem, if they can't figure it out, you know, they're, they're going to find another place. Yeah. Um, and so the, this actually happened to me the other night. Um, the the guests got to the condo. The, the combination code wasn't working. Um, they couldn't figure it out. Airbnb. They called Airbnb. My phone was on silent because it was. They were trying to check in at two in the morning. Um, I didn't, you know, so I didn't hear it ring. So Airbnb put them in another unit. I checked in the next morning. I apologized and said, "Okay, well, you know, now that my schedule open, I can re rebook it." Um, I would rather that happen than get a phone call in the middle of the night at two o'clock in the morning saying, "Hey, why can't yeah. I get in this unit?" Exactly. So, um, all right, guys, so let's go ahead and hop into a cash scenario purchase of this unit if it was a double bed unit. Purchase price is $121.9. Again, that gross rental income, I did $2,500 under what the highest did at $25,000. If you only rent this property on Airbnb, there's only a 3% property management fee. That's $750. Your subtotal then is $24,250. Your taxes on this unit were only $983.52. Again, that's $983.52. Guys, that's not per month. That's for the whole year. <laughs> uh, your HO6 insurance is $1,000. It's probably going to be a little bit lower, cheaper th th than that. Uh, your cleaning services, that's $3,600. That's at 30 cleanings based on $120 per cleaning. And then your annualized HOA dues were only $7,392. Now, this is going to bring you to a subtotal of $12,975.52. If you subtract that $12,975.52 from the $24,250 up top, it leaves you with $11,274.48. 
Now, uh, again, I want to throw out that, that there is a personal property tax you're going to have to pay on an investment property for your internal furnishings. It's marginal in my opinion, so I did not include it here. Um, electricity, internet, and pest control are included in the HOA fee. And I want to throw out that the AirDNA estimate, estimated projected revenue was actually 35800 with an occupancy rate of 43% for an average daily rent of $229. So guys, all in all, I think you can do very well with these properties. I think you can hit that $35,000 uh, mark. Absolutely. It, I mean, there are plenty of stellar oceanfront condo units in our market that are in the top 5% that absolutely crush those rental income numbers. Now let's get inside unit 917. All right, as soon as you walk in, you're gonna notice a beautiful barnyard door. They've done a great job finishing this place. Bathroom, as you can see. You've got your tub shower combo. We have a little storage closet right here upon entry. We've got a little nook right here, as you can see. Great place for a bar or a coffee maker. You come straight in, you have your kitchen to the left, you've got a bed and a sofa, chair, fireplace, and flat screen TV, and another little table here. This has all of your information. This is typical of how I see things done, guys, for Airbnb. That's what they do. There's a little welcome message. They've got on here the Wi-Fi password, that password and all kinds of information. And it's, it's well done. LVP flooring throughout, as you can see. Nice modern furniture. It is wonderful. I do want to give you a quick little zoom in of the, of the kitchen area. This is everything that you need for a vacation stay. As you can see, little mini fridge, sink, microwave. You can come out on the balcony. And sure enough, you had a beautiful ocean view. There's the rest of your view. And now look down below us and you can see the cool lazy river. This is a well done, excellent Airbnb vacation rental property. All right, so let's work through depreciation. Now this unit has a purchase price of 121.9 divided by 39 years for short-term rentals. It brings you to a taxable income deduction of $3,125.64. Now, guys, I wanna throw out there that you can also do a cost segregation study. For you high income earners, you could, you could be writing, up, you know, writing off up to uh, 15 to $30,000 in a given year by doing a cost segregation study on your oceanfront condo purchase. So if you're interested in more information about that, give me a call. I'll be more than happy to get those questions answered for you. And finally, what you've been waiting for guys, appreciation on these units. In 2014, if you would have purchased one of these efficiency units, on average, you would have paid $51,000. Now you fast forward to 2024, and that's $119,500. That's as much as $68,500 in appreciation, over 134%, guys. Come on, let's get inside and check out the landmark water park they've got right here. As you can see, guys, really, really cool. They do serve drinks here. Really, really cool, you can see their menu. And as you can see here, they're having lots and lots of fun. And this is what you want to look for when you're investing in an oceanfront condo. You have to get great on-site amenities because that's what's going to create the demand for your unit. Now, of course, your unit has to be updated. It has to be modern. You got to meet a lot of criteria. But if you don't have the on-site amenities, well, families, the 20 to 22 million tourists that visit this market each year, they're not going to rent your unit. And this happens to be the landmark, one of the best as far as cost effective and, uh, you know, and extremely affordable uh, product offerings, if you want to call it that, on our market. You're not going to be able to really go anywhere and find an oceanfront condo that has these types of amenities 
and pay $121,000. Now that is a really cool bridge that goes from the parking deck. You can see there, there's the parking deck. It's gonna go from the parking deck all the way across to the landmark. And that's the landmark right there across the street. So guys, this is an excellent value. It's probably one of the best values that you're gonna find on the beach. Really quick, just take a little detour over here. I don't wanna get wet. <laughs> As you can see, pretty, pretty cool, guys. Pretty cool. Click the screen now to see the next part of the interview with Matt Freeze.